Good morning and welcome to La Rochelle. Check out that view. Today we're going on a great walking tour of the city. We're going to see some of the great sights and we're going to share it with you. Let's go for a walking tour of La Rochelle. So we are starting our walking tour of La Rochelle and we just happen to have the essential they call it the essential things to see in oh I have an assistant essential things to see in La Rochelle and it won't surprise you to know that number one on the list is uh, the Vieux Port the old port let's keep going this is a fabulous way to start the tour number two on our essential tour of La Rochelle is right behind me. It's the Grosse Horloge. You can't miss it. Literally, you can't miss it. It's one of the biggest things down here. If you look at the top of the Grosse Horloge, the big clock, you'll see a great weather vane of this old ship. It's really beautifully done. Behind me is supposed to be number five, uh, Port Neuve, the new, the new gate. But I don't see anything there. <laughs> so I don't think number five is worth stopping for. Number six on our walking tour is the Hotel de la Bourse, I believe is what it was called. I don't have the paperwork in front of me. But it's quite cool. It's hard to find. It looks kind of dilapidated from the street. But walk into the center courtyard and you're going to see this great stone uh, compass. I'm going to in a second. And uh, on the wall behind me, you'll see the stern part of the ships and what have you. The whole thing is, this used to be the um, stock exchange for La Rochelle. So this whole thing is supposed to show the wealth of La Rochelle. Okay, just a couple of steps down from um, Hotel de la Bourse uh, is the Palais de Justice. You can tell it by the Corinthian columns behind me. And uh, we're moving on. One of the best things, in my opinion, about this walking tour is that it doesn't take you directly from one essential site, which we're finding isn't always essential, but it wanders through some of the streets you might not otherwise venture down. And it's really some beautiful, beautiful buildings, which really takes us to our happy place. This is so gorgeous. Number eight on the, <laughs> number eight on the list Right behind me, La Maison Nicolas Venette. And uh, he was a famous surgeon. He wrote lots of books about surgery and... Uh, hey, <laughs> it's kind of... Naval surgeon, I was just corrected. Dead ahead is Hôpital Dofredi. I, I'm not sure about that. But this, what's really interesting about it is that this was built in the 1200s the guy was a shipbuilder and he built it to show his gratitude to the town i guess anyway pretty pretty amazing number 11 on the list is maison henri deuxième i think henry the second um it's a nice little place great little garden here and look at the uh architecture behind me it's really a pleasant little place to visit. One of the really coolest things about La Rochelle is the arch, arch, well you are wrecking it right now. <laughs> um, one of the coolest things about La Rochelle is the arched arcades, you know, where all the shops were. It was an indication that um, the town was growing commercially and it's got all the little shops and stuff. It's a fun place to walk. 
Takes you out of the sun a little bit too. Right across the street, number 14. Café de la Paix Brasserie. Apparently, it's got the 19th century decor inside. It's well worth seeing, so we're gonna go inside. Number 15 on our walk. Pretty little gate. This is the Porte Dauphin. I believe Joe said that Dauphin means like the prince or next in line in uh, French. So we're going to check that. We're going to fact check we're, that. That will fact check that. Anyway, Porte Dauphin. After you visited the Porte Dauphin and you're walking back, you need to make sure that you stop in at Jardin des Plantes. Green gardens, I guess you'd say, or the plant gardens or something. Anyway, it seems like a silly name, but it's such a nice, cool respite from the sun. Really enjoyable walking through here. Dead ahead, l'Église Notre Dame. That's number 16 on our stop along this walking tour of La Rochelle. That's because you like me. I like you. You like me a lot. You think I'm pretty. <laughs> you want to kiss me. You're all on the video now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you better kiss me then. <laughs> kisses, kisses. Mm -hmm. So, here we are, walking the streets of La Rochelle, and we're out of the touristy area. Love this town. It's a great, great town. Okay, so, so we have. We have some, a measurement that we go by. That measurement is, ooh, I want to live here. So Jody, would we say, ooh, we want to live here? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Final stop on our tour of La Rochelle is a Glis Saint Sauveur. Beautiful looking church on the outside. Let's just take a quick look inside and see what it looks like. Our walking tour of La Rochelle took us about four hours roughly to complete and in it we did not stop at any of the museums and that kind of thing. It's time for lunch. 11,380 steps. Joe has her Fitbit on. <laughs> that was quite quite a lot. Before noon. And that's before noon. Yeah, we've got much more to do today. just got done doing the walking tour around and that was like four hours of non-stop where Jody was just telling me 12,000 plus steps that's like how many miles on uh, 5.24 miles and that's all before noon we just sat down at I don't know where we are but we're kind of on the harbor side of where all the restaurants are very fun area here multitude of little restaurants and what have you. So, Café du Nord. Café du Nord. Café du Nord. How about that? 
and um, Jody's having a seven up. I'm having another left. See, proof. It's only seven up. It's not vodka. <laughs> And I've got a couple of a couple of salads coming, salad Italian. You're going to hear me say this multiple times during our trip. Life is good, especially when we visit France. Salad Italian looks mighty fine, mighty fine. Little. Um, Parma Italian ham there. Some great looking greens. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. The tomatoes, red peppers, a little bit of cheese. Cannot wait to dive into that. Jody is saying the oil and vinegar dressing is absolutely superb. Looks like there might even be a little bit of pesto on there. I'm diving in. Two of the things that I really like about dining in France. One, the wait staff doesn't come up and say, hi, I'm Brandy, I'll be your server today. And secondly, that you can sit as long as you want in the restaurant. Nobody's gonna bother you. You actually have to ask for them to bring you the check. It's great. It's been a great day. Boy, a lot of walking, a lot of good sights. End of a great day. We're wrapping it up. Hey, if you like travel, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big old red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.